heard me say it before, my name is Lisa and I'm part of the Cultural Services team. Normally you'd find me in the Art Gallery or Sea City or Tudor House, but today I'm at home and I've been taking inspiration from our collection again and this time I've made something that I can use to do a little performance. I was thinking about one of our stories that we've got in our collection, it's called the Perseus story. It's a Greek myth and it's about a young man called Perseus who goes on a really long journey and part of that journey involves fighting a sea monster. So this is made all out of recycled bits and pieces that you might find at home. You can see, I don't know if you can, there's bottle tops and netting and things like that. And when I pull up this one, who's hiding behind this rock of doom? I'm saying rock of doom because if you find out about the Perseus story, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> it's a sea monster. My sea monster. She's quite friendly. She doesn't eat uh, cats, dogs, children. She's called Sandy. And uh, she's the great, great granddaughter of the sea monster in the Perseus series that we've got at work. She's got a little friend here. He's hiding behind this rock. Here he comes. He's actually disguised, camouflaged under this netting here. Can you see if I open up? There he is. He's called Pinchy. And he's a little grab that lives with Sandy behind that rock there. I'm not going to show you the whole process of how to make these. If you'd like to have a go yourself, go onto our website, Southampton City Art Gallery, and have a look on the online resources page, and there's a worksheet that will talk you through the step by step. I'm just going to very quickly tell you the materials that I used and uh, show you some of the different sections. So you might, um, that will probably help you if you're using the instruction sheet. So. To make this, as I said, I use lots and lots of recycled materials. Plastic pot, that's what makes the entire stage set. Toilet rolls for the rocks. Um, I use some tin foil, different scrap plastics, and loads and loads of different packaging I had. It's all cardboard stuff, but I've got freeze pops there, some pizza boxes, just because I needed different colours of cardboard. The first thing you do is with your tin foil, cut some wiggly bits of card. I used blues and greys because I was thinking of watery sort of uh, colours. And then I poked those through the tin foil. So I poked them through holes in tin foil. A bit like weaving, I suppose. And went all through it. And then I put that, you see here, into the back of my stage set. I just pushed it in and it stands up on its own. Then I used a green bit of card and I cut some wiggly seaweed there and I stuck that on. If I peel back one of the corners, you can see it goes round the corner there and I stuck it on with a bit of sellotape. And then to make my rocks, I just took a toilet roll and I chopped, 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 chopped out a rock shape. And if I show you on these, they're much lower at the back than they are at the front. And I've coloured them in to make them look a little bit more like rocks. And then you can make sure, because some toilet rolls you'll find or tubes that you're using are different sizes, make sure they fit inside. And you can have one or two or three, it's up to you. When you've done that, you can make the creatures to live inside your rocks. So to do this, to make my sea monster, and this is probably the most tricky thing, I don't know if you'll see, it's kind of curly-whirly. So what I did, I got a bit of plastic and you can draw around, I don't know, the bottom of a mug or a can or something and then I cut it like a snail shell, like a spiral going in. So if I pick it up from the top, can you see, then it spirals. And to make the head of the sea monster, I used two plastic bottles and lots and lots of sellotape. I glued one end in, glued the other side on like that, so I, not, not glued on, sorry, I held the other side together and then used lots and lots of sellotape. And you can see on my sea monster's head, I've then made some teeth and some eyes and covered it with sellotape to stick them on as well. And it's quite good for the head of your sea monster to be heavy because then when you're um, using it like a puppet, it will um, pull up the rest of the body. And it will also, when you're hiding your sea monster back down, make sure that your body gets pushed back down behind the rock and curls back up again nicely. So that's why that's useful. Um, then what you want to do with your sea monster, I forgot, oops, is you, oh, it's got a bit too loud. You stick one end inside the tube to hold it in place. So when you pull it in and out, it's not going to come all the way out. It's just going to go nicely back inside. 
Then you can make something to go in your other rock. I obviously made Pinchy here, and he's just a bottle lid with some arms that I cut from cardboard stuck on and a little face, and he's got a little bit of net. I've used, I didn't have any string, so I've used, these strings are from um, fruit nets again. So don't worry if you don't have any string at home, just use a fruit net or something like that, and I'll just sellotape them. And I used bottle lid, milk bottle lids, because it made it quite easy. I could hang them on, uh, and then I could just uh, pull them up and it made them camouflage to the rest of my rest of my stage set. And then finally, you just decorate. So I've got a whole carrier bag, and I've stuck it all the way around the outside, just a bit of sellotape here and there, a bit of net there that I've um, draped on. Again, it's one of these fruit net things. It's one of the plastic ones though, not one of the ones that's made from sort of string stuff. And I've cut some little fish. You could do whatever you want, couldn't you? A jellyfish, a shark. There's lots of different sea creatures you could put on. And there we go. And then when you finish decorating, you pop your rocks back inside. Oops. Oh, that's a bit fiddly. The sea monster's fallen through. Oh dear. Pop the rocks back inside. Pop the sea monster in. Hang the ends of your puppet, ooh, puppet strings there. Put Pinch back in. He's a bit fiddly. Maybe think about that when you're making something. His arms are a little bit fiddly to get him back in. But it's okay, he gets there in the end and he's disguised by the net. And there you go. You could maybe film a little performance like I did and send it into us at the gallery, that would be fun. I'm sure you've got lots of ideas of your own and you can uh, create some really amazing underwater scenes. Okay, bye.